I'm so glad you're here that I can talk to you because the last time you were here, we didn't get a chance to talk, but you helped us raise some money. You uh, agreed to be in our dunk tank. Let's remind people, and it took forever. Harry Connick Jr. <laughs> could not hit that target. <laughs> Let's... Thank you for having me. That was yeah. fun. How is Chuck going? How's it's it... it's really good. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. We uh, we premiered uh, you know a few weeks ago, and and the fan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and the fans. Uh, you know, in the off season, we didn't know if we were going to come back or not, and uh, and the fans just rose up and, mm -hmm. and fought for us. Yep. I That's love what you. you need. I love you. I love you. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Ventura, California. Uh, but, uh, but we moved when I was a young kid, and Ventura was Grand Central for us. We'd live there, move away, come back, move away, come back. But it's, uh -huh. a, it's a great place to grow up. You and know? are you, the rest of your family, anybody in show business? No. No? No, just me. Sisters, brothers? No, my sisters, they both did you know, some theater with me growing up. But mm -hmm. uh, I, I, for me, it was like, well, it was my only option, I think. I wasn't good at anything else. Uh -huh. I, was, I, I felt like I could keep growing and getting better at that. you know. But my sisters are incredibly beautiful, talented people. They're actually mm -hmm. both here. They're backstage mm -hmm. right now, probably going, no, we thought I was beautiful. That's yeah. great. <laughs> uh, but they really are. They really are beautiful girls. And, um, That's sweet. But growing up with you know, my sisters and my aunts and my mom, and I, was, I mean, it was estrogen. It was like my whole life. <laughs> Uh, but it gives you insight, uh -huh. you know, in, into ladies a lot, you know, and, and we'd go shopping. I'm sure your girlfriends uh, appreciate that, that you had, you were raised around women. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so, yeah. I think it, it gives you, you know, that, that kind of insight that, you know, helps in relationships a bit. And, uh, and you, you know, family outings were shopping trips. We didn't, we didn't do little boy stuff. We didn't go to, like, the arcade. I wasn't, like, you know, oh, occasionally. You know, I think I probably went through thousands of my mother's dollars, just mm -hmm. like, one more quarter? One more quarter? Uh, <laughs> um, but, yeah, we'd go to, you know, J.C. Penney's and Mervyn's and stuff. And, <laughs> and they were all shopping. And I was like, well, this is boring to me. I got to go do so. I'd wander off. That was real safe. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. <laughs> it was the 80s. Everybody did it. Uh -huh. And um, <laughs> so I would go wander off. And I think at one point, there was like a, there was a dressing room. I think my mom was actually trying some stuff on. And I just kind of wandered down the dressing room, right? And you're a little boy. Other women don't care that you're in there. And I... I, there was this one dresser, and I looked underneath, and there was all these, there were all these mannequins, all these, you know, naked mannequins all stacked up in there. And I think I had just seen Kim Cattrall in, in Mannequin. And I was like, this is my chance right here. <laughs> so I, I, I may have kissed that mannequin. Really? Um, but nothing happened. Nothing that was, happened. Uh, I was quite disappointed. Did, did someone catch you making out with a mannequin? No, thank you? God, no. Oh. No. You, but you just shared the story. I shared it with the world. Yeah, that's great. No one saw, I but... Yeah. Well... Uh, very funny.